Welcome back from the long holiday break, the weekend, back to work, back to school, and happy 2021 from all of us at 104.5 FM WOKV. So we get back to it. It's going to be back to winter weather after the weekend storm front that we had come through the area. Some much needed rain for the metro area, and by Sunday afternoon, boy, it looked quite nice. And it's going to be very familiar and typical winter weather for the start of the week. Comfortably cool lows in the 40s in the morning and 60s during the afternoon. Looks like our next storm system is later in the day on Thursday. And other than that, we should be pretty nice and sunny throughout. So enjoy it. The first alert forecast updated every six minutes on Jacksonville's morning news. Each county in our area in certain ways is handling the coronavirus vaccination just subtly a little bit different. And because of that, we've updated county by county at WOKV.com the process. Head to WOKV.com and you can see how Duval County is different than Clay. Nassau is different than St. John's and Baker. As we continue to see the demand really high for the coronavirus vaccine, supply may end up being an interesting storyline that we'll follow for you over the coming days and weeks. We'll sit down with the Duval County Health Department Director, uh, Pauline Roll, this morning. If you missed the interview, you can head to WOKV.com and listen back to that and any other podcast uh, from any of the interviews that we bring you throughout the day on Jacksonville's morning news. The coronavirus vaccination going to be one of the big local stories we follow through the week. The other big local story probably going to be on the Jaguars front when the decision may ultimately come on the future for head coach Doug Marone and his coaching staff. Uh, it could be as early as Monday, if not later this week. We'll send you a breaking news alert in the WOKV app. Top national story, and really all the attention is focused on Georgia with Tuesday's election runoff in the two Senate races that ultimately will determine the balance of power in the United States Senate and the leaked audio of the phone call that President Trump had on Saturday with Georgia election officials that throws a whole new wrinkle into the entire thing. We continue to unpack that story for you in depth at WOKV.com and instantly in the 104.5 WOKV app. Stay connected to these and other top stories throughout the day and the week. Download the WOKV app and stay connected to breaking news alerts as well. We look forward to you being a part of Jacksonville's morning news throughout 2021. Stay safe.